Hi, it's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my floss tube number 109. It's Thursday the 27th of April and it's King's Day here in the Netherlands. We celebrate the birthday of our king, Willem-Alexander. And yeah, there are lots of free markets and stuff to do, uh, but I chose to film for you. Um, yeah, I am just going to go for a walk outside later this day and just do that. But now I'm filming, so welcome. If you are new, I would really appreciate it if you would like to hit the subscribe button to not miss any video of me. And uh, that's if you like what you see. <laughs> And for the returning viewers, thank you so much. I really appreciate it every single time. So yeah, it's it's wonderful. The Plus Tube community is wonderful and yeah. But it's my day off because it's King's Day and tomorrow I have the day off and then the weekend. So I have four days of vacation. So uh, I have a lot to show you. I have a lot of uh, whips works in progress to show you from the month of april um, and then i'm going to show you my mania plans i wasn't having any plans but i do <laughs> that's just me i change plans almost every day so <laughs> um, but i wanted to show you what my plans are so uh, yeah that's what i want to show you today let's start with a fully finish I have one fully finish. I haven't shown you in the last video because the last video was at Alice's house. Hi, Alice. And um, yeah, I wanted, I didn't want to bring anything or anything. I didn't want to bring everything. So uh, I chose to keep this one for now. So let's hope. Look, Pretty Little London by Satsuma Street. I fully finished it in a hoop and I love it and my son loves it. I started this one in a hotel room in London together with my son and I finished it a couple of months ago. I'm not sure anymore but I fully finished it so I love it. That's Pretty Little London and I wanted to show you that. Let's start with the whips. In this huge project bag of Diane of Frag and Fudge. She gifted this to me. I have a beautiful project. Uh, as I told you, I believe in my last video, I am using a non full coverage wheel for the weekdays or weeknights uh, after work. So I uh, work on all my non-full coverages um, yeah, during the year. And that works for me, for now. <laughs> I'm just saying for now, because we all know me. I am going to show you how it looks when it's finished. And this is what I have so far. This is the 2020 pandemic sampler charted by Sarsi girl this was a free pattern can you believe it it's gorgeous i dyed the fabric according to her instructions with the pattern and i have her permission for naming this christie's sampler and yeah i love this let me fold this so I can show you what I have done lately. I have been working on all the red in the house. That's the only thing I did because I only have a couple of weeknights. So, but I managed to do a total of 1054 stitches and I'm currently at 14.86%. And I love this. It's stitched. Uh, this is on 40 count 
linen, which I hand dyed according to the instructions, and it's called Christie's Sampler. And I used the DMCs, the Cold Force DMCs. So, I was really happy the wheel chose this one because it was a long time ago. So, then the next project is in this beautiful project bag was gifted to me by Michelle of Mama Loves You GB. Thank you, Michelle. I still love this. And the wheel chose <clears throat> Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais. And this is what I have so far. This is stitched on 32 count fog lifter blend by R, R with my own DMC conversion because the chart doesn't provide any DMC conversion. And some of the DMCs I have substituted for Victorian mottos I still had. So, and I told you in a previous video, I didn't have my own hand dyed pink for the house anymore. I need to dye, still need to dye some more. So I managed to stitch around that. I finished this part, the flower. I finished these windows and started on this one and finished the door. And that's what I did. I still love this one so much, but I need to re-dye the pink. Let's hope I can do that sometime soon. This is in my own project bag I made. And <clears throat> this one is Jason Snow Globe by Twin Peak Primitives. This was a gift from them. It's from the Rustic Christmas series. And this is what I have so far. Look at this. I managed to do uh, 734 stitches and I'm currently at 79.62% and I was working in the bottom part of the snow globe so I almost finished this entirely. <clears throat> My plan for this one, uh, we are having Dutch Mania in September and I am there. <laughs> But because I have a model stitch for Twin Peak Primitives, I'm going to take with me. I really want to finish this one before Dutch Mania as well. So I can bring this one too, because it's hosted by the twins. So I'm going to think I'm going to stitch on this one in June or July. Maybe Christmas in July to finish it. So... This is stitched on 32 count natural raw linen by Zweigart using the Cold for DMCs. The next project in this beautiful peacock project bag by Diane of Rock and Fudge. Again, she is my most favorite bag maker. And a close second is Jantina of Jantina Stitches, one of our own stitch tears. And by now you have seen the cover picture. This is Mini Sea Turtle Spirit of Seren Serendipity. Um, artwork is by Carol Cavallaris. <laughs> and yeah. I am in love with this one. This is what I have done so far. I managed to work in some greens. I was fed up with all the blues 
because yeah I love blue blue is my favorite color but I needed some other colors as well so I did a total of 1265 stitches and I'm currently at 7.02% so 2% added since the last time this is stitched on 25 count easy grid one over one full cross using DMC's love this the next one oh man this was a new start and if you have seen my instagram you can find me on instagram at creativelyyours.2 this one was a new start and i dyed my own fabric because i didn't want to stitch the background and i did i did a, did, i did a little happy dance because I think it turned out great. I will put in a picture here of what I posted on Instagram. And let me see if I can show you. This is the fabric. And I started in the left middle. So I can start with uh, the, the side of the dragon. And I'm going to fold this over so I can show you what I did. This is what I have so far. Look at those colors. I love this. Is this wrong? Yeah, this is the right way. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I did a total of 2,091 stitches and I'm currently at 1%. So 99% to go. I managed to mark off uh, most of the background, but I think I have a lot more to mark off from the background because it's hard to see which is background and which is part of the dragon. But we'll see along the way. But yeah. This is, and I love it on this fabric. It's 25 count Lugana, itchy nose, as usual. 25 count Lugana, one over one full cross with DMC. And yeah, I love how the fabric dye turned out. I am in love with the pattern as well. Then the wheel chose another pattern which is Sarah Brazier 18 yeah 1829 which is a hands across the sea sampler I have seen this stitched up by Vanna Pfeiffer here on Floss Tube she used the DMC conversion and it turned out wonderful, which made me uh, choose DMC as well. So. And it's a huge bedspread again. But this is what I have so far. Am I? Yeah. This is done on 40 count Latte by me. And I'm using DMCs, one over two. I filled in this entire part and I filled in a couple of satin stitches here and I I made the surroundings of the satin stitches. So next time I will be filling up the rest of the satin stitches and some motifs here. So I finish up part one or page one. But I love this. I love how it looks. It's beautiful. And then the last. The last one. I'm going to put in a picture here. Because I have a crappy print out of the cover picture. So this is a bad spread as well. <laughs> First, let me show you what I have entirely. This is Pandemic by Long Dock Samplers. 
This is done on 32 count Murano uh, The name escapes me I will put it in the screen I'm not sure anymore and I'm going to show you what I have done but let me fold this bedspread first <laughs> because it's hard to show you otherwise. I have finished up or stitched in this part, one of the diagonals, and I started on the next diagonal. Look at those colors. I'm using DMC colors. I will list the DMC numbers in the description box below. And yeah, I love this. Oh, it's platinum. Platinum Murano. <laughs> 32 count, one over two, which give, gives great coverage. I did a total of 487 stitches because I was sick for one night, um, had a terrible headache, so I couldn't stitch. Uh, 487 stitches and I'm currently at 20.20% so those were my whips of April and I am going to stitch on Little Blue by Amy Stewart charted by Heaven and Earth Designs for the next couple of days the last days of April uh, because I uh, Wanted to because Stephanie of the On Point Stitcher was stitching on it for the rest of April as well. So we are stitching it together and uh, I loved to see her progress. So next time you will see my progress on Little Blue at the end of May. So then I'm going to pause. I'm going to grab all my plans for Mania and I will, I'll be right back. I'm back. I have grabbed my mania plans um, at first I was going to not participate in mania and then I thought about doing a monogamous mania but I am not that kind of girl I am not the one who stitches on one project I am usually stitching on two or mostly three days on a project and then I'm moving on so I thought no monogamous is not my thing I'm not going to do that then I thought about starting five or six because I had one planned start already so I had the thought of using or grabbing five new starts uh, next to the one I am already starting in May, but that turned out to be my 56th whip um, And I am a person of round numbers <laughs> I can't deal with 56. I just can't so I thought what the heck I have a basket full of kitted up projects and they are laying there and That's a waste. So I'm going to start 10 new projects in the month of May Every three days I'm going to start a new one. So I'm going to show you which one I chose. And I had a little help from my friends, the Sitchketeers. We had a meetup last Friday. Um, only Jemima wasn't present. Uh, so Jemima chose a number which were, there were a few projects left. And I numbered them and asked her to pick a number. And so she didn't have a say in choosing a picture. So. Maybe it's not what she she would have chosen, but she picked that number. But the first one I'm going to show you was a gift, which I uh, embarrassingly was gifted, I think two years ago by Raffaella, my sweet friend from Italy, which I met at the first Dutch Stitchers retreat. And she gifted me this Owl Forest embroidery kit called Fox Forest. It's hard to see but it's all foxes and forest. So this was Jantina's choice. So thank you, Jantina. 
I'm going to show you what's inside. I'm going to use the paper pattern because, just because. I'm going to use the call for, or the, the fabric inside, which is a 32 count. And I am going to use the hand dyed flosses, which were provided in the kit. Look at those, beautiful. So that's one of my 10 new starts. So Raffaella, I am finally starting it. So, but thank you again so much for this kit. I really love it. The next one is the planned start for May 9th, which is Alice's birthday. And I'm going to put in a picture because my picture is crappy. So it's this one. It's fox gnomes. <laughs> and I'm going to show you the fabric I have chosen and the DMCs. And I managed to put it in Pattern Keeper in total. So only the backstitch is one of the things that isn't available in Pattern Keeper, but that's okay. I have chosen this 32 count polka dotted fabric by Swigart. And these are, what's this? Yeah, these are the DMCs. Let me, this is not, these are the DMCs. <laughs> so I think it will turn out great. So this is the start I'm going to have with Alice. And we are going to use the hashtag gnome along. So if you have a gnome pattern, you can join us. And it's in this wonderful tiny project bag, which Jantina made for me. So the next start is one I had laying around for a long time. which is Mary Amelia's Bird by Quaint Rose Needle Arts on Etsy. She has a floss tube as well, which I will link below. And yeah, I'm going to start this one. Managed to get this one in Pattern Keeper as well. So yay. <laughs> and I'm going to stitch it on 40 count vintage beige with me just show you the cold for DMCs. So that's going to be another start. So no wheel in the month of May, but that's okay. The next one I'm going to start, and these are in no particular order. I'm going to put in a picture here. This is Mickey's Coffee. I got this from Zana Cross Stitch on Etsy. And yeah, I'm going to stitch it on 25 count easy grid, one over one full cross with the DMCs. So, and I know that this one, because it's Disney, it's not going to be licensed because Disney is very hard to get licensed things. But yeah, I love Mickey Mouse and I love coffee. So I needed to start this one. The next one is Jemima's Choice. Uh, well, choice. She didn't have a choice in picture, but she chose the number I put on this one, which is The Society of the Black Hats by The Little Stitcher, which the pattern was a gift from Lydia of Lovely Stitches. And 
and I am going to stitch it on 40 count murky and I won't have very much margins but I'm going to turn it most likely into a project bag or something that doesn't involve very large margins so but I really wanted to do it on this and I'm going to use PR043 by Silks for You, which is a charcoal. And Misuseda's cream. So I think that's going to be wonderful on that fabric. And then I'm going to use a black DMC for the back stitching. So that's what I'm what I'm going to start. The next one was a kit, and I'm going to use the hashtag uh, "Get Your Kit On Sale," which was hosted by Sarah of Somi Sarah and someone else. And I'm not sure who. I'm very sorry. This was a kit I was gifted by mybobbin.com. I really love this one. This is called Blooming Cotton and Blueberry. Really beautiful. I am not going to use the cold for or the, the fabric from the kit because that's 16 count Ada. Uh, I'm going to use a 32 count um, even weave in grey because the fabric was going to be grey. And I'm going to use the cold for flosses, which were in the kit. So, but I substituted the fabric. The next one I'm going to put in a picture as well, because the picture in the kit, because it's a kit. I'm sorry about the itchy nose, but I can't help it. It's a floss tube nose. Um, the kit I bought, uh, I really wanted to try a stamped cross stitch kit. Uh, I have seen several on floss tube and yeah, the picture they pro provided in the kit was not that good, but I'm going to show you here. So it's called Japanese Geisha and I haven't seen this one charted by any of the full coverage uh, designers. So this is the stamped fabric. And I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, but I loved the picture. So, and these are the flosses which were in the kit which is a Chinese brand, I'm for sure. But we'll see. The next one is Alice's Choice. I have had this pattern for a very long time. And I really, really wanted to start it. And I was very happy that Alice said, yes, that's the one. <laughs> so let me show you. It's this one. Oh, let me pull off the memo. In all things, be exceedingly diligent by Needlework Press. I have seen this stitched up by Kim of the Contented Stitcher, and it's gorgeous. I am going to stitch it on a piece of 40 count honeybee by me, which is, it turned out great. So, and I'm using the cold four DMCs. Let me show you. I think it's going to be beautiful, so. That's going to be a start. The next one 
is Lydia's Choice. Grab everything. This is 1862 Small Sampler by Lila Studio. And this is a small part of a bigger sampler. And this pattern was a gift by Lydia as well. So it's fitting she chose this one. I'm going to stitch it on a piece of, yeah, it's a natural yellowish fabric by Victorian Motto Semper Threads or, or Victorian Motto. I was part of the Fabric of the Month Club a long time ago and yeah I had this piece left and it's big enough so I'm going to use this and I made my own conversion of several several Victorian Motto Semper Threads and some other threads as well so I think it's going to be beautiful. So that was Lydia's choice. And then the last one was a surprise because I thought I had 10 projects and then the next morning I woke up and counted them and thought, oh, I can't count. <laughs> These are only nine projects. So um, yeah, I needed to grab another one. So I chose one I really, really wanted to start. So, but I didn't have the DMCs yet. So I had to quickly order them and I had the fabric, so that's okay. I'm going to put in a picture here and this is going to be a massive project. <laughs> it's Charm of Hummingbirds. And it's going to be in this beautiful project bag by Jantina. And I'm going to use all the gold for DMCs, which are 149. And this massive piece of fabric, 25 count, easy grid, which I'm not going to fold out. <laughs> it's going to be massive. It's a stitch count of 560 by 800, but I love it. And it's charted by Contemporary Cross. I already have Full Moon Mini, which I'm stitching with Jantina. And yeah, I fell in love with this one. This was a gift from Contemporary Cross to me. So I'm going to stitch it. And at first I saw uh, the background fabric dyed by Kaylee of Kaylee Tent Stitch and I thought I want that fabric but I didn't see it on her website and yeah I thought why not stitch the background so I'm going to stitch it as a whole and we'll see but I'm excited to start 10 new projects so at the end of May <laughs> I'm going to have 60 whips call me crazy but I'm going to do it and yeah, I'm going to love it. So that's it for now. It's not going to be a very long video, but I wanted to update you. And I'll be back at the end of May or beginning of June, not sure when. And I'm going to show you everything I have started and everything in between. And yeah, we'll see. So. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye for now.